This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. my beautiful buddies and welcome to a review for nifty knitting we are doing a going to grandma's inspired build so this build is just kind of inspired off of a grandmother who's probably widowed or something along the lines of that and maybe she has a grandchild that kind of visits her on the weekends and things like that that's kind of like where i've seen the speed build kind of like the story behind it um and with Nifty Knitting, I often like see this kind of as a pack for elders. Like I think this is a perfect pack for elders, but it doesn't mean that only elder sims can knit. You can have sims of all ages knit. Um, and I especially like the whole Plopsy thing. And if you don't know what Plopsy is, um, for this pack, they have included like a way to sell your craftables on Plopsy, which I have to admit, it just like reminds me of like taking a poop or something. <laughs> but I think the idea is inspired by a, like Epsy, kind of like that kind of deal um <laughs> and this just makes me laugh every time um and yeah i really think that's cool i definitely think like that ties in maybe um younger people knitting as well if you wanted to go with that storyline but yeah i decided to do like a cute colorful house kind of thing just just very grandma-ish in my opinion and i think it was really cute it's like a small one-story house just the perfect place that you'd want to retire in um and yeah i even like managed to put like a picture of an like a man on the wall and i was like oh maybe that's her late husband or something like that in my mind I just like sometimes to create a story a story for that be a story behind the house um but that's not why we're here we're here to talk about um nifty knitting and my thoughts about it so um this was the community voted stuff pack so much like um laundry day stuff this pack has also been like voted on and i have to admit this wasn't what i voted on um like for the initial like pack i was between dangerous stuff pack i remember and um another like craftable like another hobby kind of thing but it wasn't this one like it was a different one um but with that said, I still think it came out really lovely, even though this definitely wasn't my first choice. Um, I really like the fact that this makes me want more hobbies. Like, it just makes me want more hobbies because I really like skills in the game. So it's always nice to have a new skill. Um, as far as the objects, when building, um, if you just go into normal build mode, you're not going to see all of the items. You have to open the debug cheat, um, and you guys could just look that up, like a debug cheat um, for you, <laughs> for your guys. But um, yeah, you're just like, I was like a little bit not underwhelmed but i was just like oh is this it but then i remembered no this is a craftable pack like this, everything's gonna be craftable so they're all gonna be unlocked so i had to go and unlock them and then i realized oh okay okay um there were so many more items there's so many hanging plants guys there's there's just galore hanging plants so this if you want hanging plants this is your pack for hanging plants <laughs> um and there's also a lot of like little cute like teddy bear type things as well um i also really like the boxes like where you actually have them knit the only thing i was a little bit like confused about because i did play with it around with it for like a really quick second while i was um testing like this build like i was taking screenshots um is that you have to have the box like in your inventory like you can't have them just sitting out and click on them which i feel like they make a really cute um decorative piece so i guess if you like them as decorative pieces like just have one in your sims inventory too um and i also really really like the desks too the desks were really cute like it just this is just a cute little pack um i definitely think if your goal is just to have like more 
ways to keep your sims like skilled this is a really good pack i also think this is good if you guys love your elders and you're like i want my elders to have something to do this is the perfect pack for your for your grandmas <laughs> while your grandpas you know go fishing or something i'm just like spitting out ideas but i really really like the idea too again of the plopsy now i missed the live stream um so I'm not completely sure if you could use Plopsy if you have if you end up getting this pack. If you could use Plopsy for other things like paintings or like wood craftables or like if you do the flower arrangements, I have no idea. Um, if you guys have watched it or have seen it by the time this is uploaded, <laughs> I guess just like let me know because um, I think that would also be an awesome idea. But I don't know. But if it even if it is just just selling your knittables i think that's really awesome i wonder too if you could buy your crafting items on there hmm, i'm not sure but i think that would be an awesome idea as well if that is or isn't implemented i have no idea but i'm just like spitballing here <laughs> um also too like the same goes for Cass as it does for as it does for built by that you have to unlock a lot of the items and a lot of them are really funny too like there's this like sweater scarf combination where it's like above your sims like mouth and it's really hilarious like this is just it's just like a really adorable like pack like i would just <laughs> say um so i feel like out of this one and laundry day as far as like those are the two community stuff voted ones which one do i like more honestly hmm i don't know okay so i feel like i like the idea of get like because we have a new skill like i like that for for this one but i have to say like i feel like as far as like more us usable items i guess if you're a builder that laundry day i feel like would maybe be a little bit better for for like build by but yeah i don't know it's a tough one i think they're i think they're both really they're both really interesting i'm curious to see see what you guys think too um yeah i don't know i just think like when i think of knitting i just think of old people so i'm sorry if i offend anybody if you guys knit but don't because i feel like young people can knit too i feel like this this can be a thing that people too can do but i guess just because my grandma was into that kind of thing it just I just recognize it as that um and also yeah i just like love the colorfulness like i just it's a bright happy pack so yeah i guess i guess you guys we could all use a little happy right now while everyone's in quarantine being really chill <laughs> but yeah um well i guess we'll move on to uh, talking about other things so there's also a also a challenge going on for the sims called the sim spark challenge and it has to do with their tv show there's a tv show on tbs and it also i guess premieres on um buzzfeed multiplayer um and then basically they have like simmers in these teams and oh, there's my clock sorry my clock always goes off in the background of the videos but anyway they have teams for these um sims players and they compete against each other and it's it's a really interesting idea um i guess i guess i wanted to talk to you guys about this because i want to know your guys thoughts about it, if you guys like the show if you watched it so far um and i think it's kind of interesting because i kind of think it's like the first time we've really seen like the sims maybe as more of an esport type thing um and I really think it's kind of cool because I think for so long people think this game it doesn't require any skills like I feel like there's always like some some people that be like oh this sims isn't really like it's just a casual game but I really do think it really takes a lot of skill especially to build and create like these gigantic storylines and do challenges and things like that so I think it's really cool seeing seeing something like this um I think it definitely opens the door um on like what people kind of consider a casual game these days so um i think it's really interesting and also too you guys can also right now enter the sparked challenge on the gallery anybody can do it um and i'm not sure what the prize is i think the prize is maybe you get picked to be on the show 
I'm not completely 100% sure. I just, I know that you get something if you win, obviously. But yeah, the challenge right now is destination wedding. And you guys could create a build or a storyline video or a cast about, um, you know, your destination wedding. And I personally, I really want to do one. I haven't done one yet, but I really want to sit down and do one. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a build or a like create a sim. I'm still thinking about it. I've been like thinking about things in my mind, but there's also themes to go with it. So you want to check the theme and you want to go to the website before you start doing it because the more you follow the rules the better it is off for you guys um and yeah and i'm like really curious to see if any of you guys have done this yourself yet if you guys um are into that kind of thing and yeah i just think i think they'll think the challenges are really cool so i think i'm i think i'm pretty down although i feel like this pack has nothing to do with destination wedding um i don't i mean maybe you want to maybe your your storyline is that two old people found love really old hmm I don't know, maybe can, you know, put her knit of lit, her knit, her love of knitting led to her finding her true love. Okay, that would be weird. I don't know how. I'm just obviously spitballing ideas here now. <laughs> um, but yeah, knitting, knitting is the name of the game here. It's a very, 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 very chill pack. Like I said too, like there's not like a whole ton I feel like to really say about this pack other than we got knitting and I like the skill and it has some cute items. I think personally one of my favorite items is the mailbox and you can unlock the mailbox. I think that's one of the cutest items. I don't know why, but I really think it is. I kind of, okay, here's my criticism. I know my criticism with, with this pack and I think I've said it before for um eco lifestyle too so you know how we have craftables too for eco lifestyle um and they go into debug mode now my beef with this is is that i really wish that there was some way that when you're just in normal like you know like manage world like build mode like without a family that you could see all these items that are like craftables in your catalog normally and then like when you're in the like normal sim mode that you don't see them like you have to work for them but if you want to build with them you can easily like you don't have to put the cheats on all the time that is my only criticism i feel like with this pack and eco lifestyle like i just wish there was a way to do that like very like more easier because i feel like that would be really amazing also too i this is this has nothing to do with nifty knitting but i really wish that there was a way to go into like picture taking mode when you're in build mode because i feel like the weather is so much nicer in build mode than if you have just like a sim and you press tab mode because then there's, there might be rain there might be snow there might be clouds and it doesn't come out as pretty um so yeah that would be that would be really really nice if we had a tab mode for for build mode as well but again nothing to do with nifty knitting just 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 my ramblings about what i want in this game um just things to make it easier um yeah that i feel like is also a thing that we need um and yeah you guys can let me know too if you guys have any sims that you can foresee using this pack with um i'm curious to see because i know you guys always have interesting sims and interesting storylines and i really like it when you guys also tag me in posts too on social media social media is definitely a place where i really like seeing everybody's creations and seeing how creative everybody really can be um <laughs> and i'm just like really curious to see too um like how everyone else's thoughts i guess on this are um about how they feel about like this pack in relation to i guess like um the last community voted stuff pack um but yeah yeah like i guess my final thoughts on this are is that if you like the fact that you're getting a new skill cool i recommend it but um if you're someone who maybe like this wasn't your um like first pick i still think it's a 
it's a good idea to go and check it out um because i i still say that even though it wasn't my first pick that i just i like the idea of having skills and things like that in the game and that's my big thing like there's more to do um regardless of like what of how you voted i mean personally i still would have thought that maybe a skill a hobby that more sims of of ages could like enjoy more because like the thing is is that i feel like uh, i feel like people are gonna be like well don't stereotype i knit i'm only 20 and you know what you, you go girl you knit that sweater if you're only 19 i think that's amazing but like personally i just feel like for my playing style i just feel like i don't I don't see myself as much using it for like my young adults like I don't see that as a hobby like I feel like I have to have a specific sim that would be like very into that kind of thing like the more chill sim and I, f I feel like that'd be really fun to have like opposite sisters that'd be like one is really chill and she enjoys knitting and reading books by the fire and stuff like that and the other sim is just like wild and she just loves to go nuts <laughs> and she's into like i don't know the dj skill and going partying and dancing that would be really fun um in that case i guess you can like use it for fun but i just really see it as like the old people stuff pack i, I just do <laughs> and i know i'm not gonna be the only one that feels that way but i really do um and i feel like the rocking chair especially kind of like put me in that mindset um but yeah i'm just really curious to see too that if we do another community voted stuff pack if people will vote on like more kind of like more normal things like because i feel like laundry and knitting is such a normal thing because i feel like i don't know i still feel like something like the dangerous stuff pack where you would get a lot of new deaths and things like that would be really cool i still think that because in my mind i think there's like less of a chance happening about those kinds of things than um a stuff pack that's like you know laundry or knitting or stuff like that you know like things that i feel like that laundry would have specifically gotten in the game like no matter what i still feel like we would have even if we didn't vote it on that stuff pack um and i feel like also too like maybe if not knitting we would have gotten some other hobby craftables and maybe a hobby pack like i don't know if we're gonna get a hobby pack for sure i'm just spitballing here i don't know anything of that but i just have a feeling like that's something more normal i can see us getting than something more out of the ordinary so i feel like that's something if we did do another community stuff pack i think i would like to see a vote that's not so like average i guess like that not that like average things aren't good because i feel like they're they're very practical and they're very and i feel like this is something that a lot of sims players could use in their homes and things like that very cute items because like obviously I feel like people voted for knitting because people want to see things for elders and i really like that because i agree i feel like we need more activities for elders which is why i think like maybe a hobby pack or like a generation pack would be perfect Sp specifically highlighting um elders teens and babies i think are the most needed because i i also feel like that children with that like um kids stuff pack i think it was like did add a lot of good like things for kids to do but i would really like to see those ages like more fleshed out i think and i don't know i feel like this pack did make me want that that made me want more hobbies that made me want more like things fleshed out for the different you know age groups also too something that i think is in this pack is that we're getting baby onesies which is really exciting because like I think prior to this the babies could only have like the yellow one and like the green one that they're born with so that is really exciting um i think that's i don't know why but i'm really excited over that but i am i think it's cute <laughs> um and i just think that it's cute just because like i feel like you unlock all these items over time obviously as your sim gets better and yeah i just i i think this is an adorable stuff pack to be had i feel like if you want to be surprised too with the items um maybe don't go into buy the pug and like try to unlock them yourself that's also another really cute idea um but yeah <laughs> i also do have another 
a good video for you guys um, that are into challenges coming up soon. I won't tell you what it is, but I have some good I some some a video for you guys who like challenges. This challenges really soon. I also have some speed builds that I've had on the pack burner for the longest time because I've I've done a lot of building I guess prior right before eco lifestyle came out I think is it eco lifestyle eco living I think it's eco lifestyle I can never get it right and I haven't released them I hadn't I didn't get a chance to release them yet so I'm really excited to do that because they were both builds that I thought were really good and I was like proud of especially one of them I can't wait to show you guys so we guys have some builds coming up in the near future we have a helpful video for you guys who maybe want um challenges so we have some things we have some things planned here we got we got video ideas um and the more over time I also get to the more desire I feel like I have the stream I just have been like thinking about it and things like that and i feel like i kind of have to hype myself up back into streaming because i feel like it's been so so long for me um but you guys have to let me know too if i streamed um on twitch would you guys come be honest with me please let me know because i because i'm interested in doing it again um i just feel like i have to get into the right mindset i feel like I'm just starting to get back into kind of like more of a normal upload schedule, I feel like. So I feel like this is going to be more frequent and then I'm going to get into get into streaming and I'm, and I'm going to do it. We're going to do it there. Um, but yeah, I have to admit like it's, it is kind of hard to kind of get into that mindset again, especially to like to do all face cam and all the shebang and things like that. Cause it, cause it is, it is really fun, but you feel like it, it is a mindset thing. Um, and yeah. If you guys like this, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and tell me what you guys think down below. I love you guys all so, so, so much, and I will speak to you later, okay? Bye, bye, bye. Story.